Special. Harding. Solar. 2021 GSL Season 2. Code S. Afrika TV. Freak Up Studio Live. 2021 GSL Season 2. Welcome back, everybody. Parting vs. Solar is coming up next, and I'm excited for this one. Yeah. I always it's enjoy a good parting game. He's always a lot of fun to cast. Solar, I think, should be a pretty good match for him. Yeah, yeah. These two, definitely it feels like two players that should give each other a, a close run for their money. Um, who do you think is favored here? I'm really not sure. I'm actually not sure. I actually feel I like it's slightly even. parting, maybe slightly parting. Like Solar, he's very good. He's he's solid, but Parting's unpredictability and his range are so hard to deal with. I think, right? Like there could be cannon rush, there could be all sorts of all ins, or he could go into like a crazy void ray sky toss build. You know? Yeah. I mean, Parting. One of the things that's always fun about him is he, he really does have his own style, his own approach. He's not afraid or embarrassed to cheese to all in to do something crazy, but his foundations are also very good. Yeah. Uh, and his Solar as well. Solar's a very crafty uh, ZVP player. I look forward to what kind of game we're going to have here. Um, and we're going to be starting this off on GSL Oblivion. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy that we're actually seeing this map played a reasonable amount. Yeah. I always feel like we get these new maps and then we don't get to see them that much because the pro gamers don't want to play on them. Yeah. <laughs> we were kind of lucky with Nautilus. That map was actually really well made. Yeah, yeah. Actually got that one a decent amount. So uh, this best of three is about to get started. Let's not forget the trap awaits the winner of this best of three, whereas the loser will go down and face off against special. So no matter how uh, you do in this best of three, you're going to have a tough opponent ahead of you. This is a very... Uh, very, very strong group. Very hard to really predict who goes on, who gets out. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to get closer to finding that out. Our game has loaded up. This is Parting versus Solar. Game one in Group D, match two. Looks like he's going for a hatch block here. Very quick probe. Kai Z Gaming. Oh, Solar. Never mind, it's a cannon rush. So before this started, I almost wanted to talk about maybe he cannon rushes, but I thought that was almost becoming cliche of me to Wait, say. Wait, no, I guess it's not actually. It's a because it's a block. It's a hatch block. The pylon was in his base, so I thought it might be. No, this is a gateway first hatch block. Yeah, and it's can gateway get, in the main base. Can we get production to turn off the? I'm hearing an echo you here. Don't my like own the voice echo? in production. I don't know why their mics are on in my ear right now. <laughs> I love casting as if I'm inside of a giant cave. Yeah. So uh, there is a forge coming now. It is on uh, one base here. This is kind of a funny looking build overall. I really want to see what the next few steps are for parting. Ah, yeah, with the forge. That's actually very interesting. I love parting, man. His, his games definitely are very, very exciting. Look at this. Pretty close score overall. 18-21 overall, 11-13 in Legacy of the Void. So for the past four years. And look at that. A pylon at the bottom of the ramp. Huh. What is his plan? By the way, the, Zer the Zerg is searching. The Zerg senses something's going on. A cannon's going to come down. And oh my I god, that didn't blocks. know this at all. Okay, so Parting figured Parting's something out that I guess other people didn't know. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Look at solar. It what? <laughs> it doesn't even look like it. It should work at all. That's insane. I had. What? That must just be an ob oblivion it's, thing, it, I guess. Yeah, no, I've it's, never it's probably seen this. this map title set. That's so weird. And so I think that outright, 
most likely Solar would just lose because this is supposed to not be factored in as a possibility. Oh, man. I love how his drone just kept trying both sides. He's like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's like, this can't possibly be. Yeah. Good old parting, man. Okay, so the um, queen's going to come down here and start to hit the uh, the hatchery. And um, okay, so I, mean, I mean, not the hatchery, it's going to be the pylon. And, and from here, like, what exactly can Zerk try to do? Keep in mind that the third base is completely isolated from the natural. Yeah. Protoss is going to use this as a launching pad for a big attack here. I think it's pretty clear, like, you have to go with some Ravagers here, but obviously the Void Rays don't care about Ravagers all that much. The Queen going to continue to pick this off, and the Ravagers coming down now. Oh, oh, oh. Little bit of sloppiness there, taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, so he's going to start coming through here. Obviously, the Ravagers are a real threat to the cannons, but when you start to stack these batteries, how many times are they going to have to corrosive vial um, this thing down? It's going to be a lot. And so behind this, the Void Ray's coming. It's being chronoed out here. Another battery about to finish. Now, of course, Protoss hasn't expanded behind this, so it's either it's going to work or it's going to not work. Um, but right now, basically, this hatchery can't be protected. The Void Rays can stack over there and continue to do damage. Yeah, and enough shield batteries here, just making it so hard to go down. How do you get down that ramp? Like, you have to you have to start one-shotting the, the uh, cannons here and the batteries as well. Oh, man. All right, a spore on the way. Also, teching up a bit here. I mean... It, since Lair is on the way, that makes me think it's probably going to be some sort of Nidus play. That would kind of make the most sense is to yeah. turn this into some sort of base trade, but I think I think oh. Harding is, like, well-equipped to win a base trade with this well, type of composition it, it as well. It seems like it would probably be the most predictable move, yes. right? It's like, okay, well, you don't have any other options. You're not, you're not going to go into a macro game from here. He does snipe that first queen. Mm -hmm. Things looking pretty dire right now uh, as the hatchery goes down, and I believe there's no drones or anything else on the map. Is that correct? Oh, no, I think there's uh, one hit yeah. in the center left, I believe, but okay. that might not even matter because this damage is starting to really, uh, you know, compound over here at the oh, Zerg's definitely. main. And there GG. it is, GG partying. Wow. The Pylon Prince himself. Yeah, yeah, that was that was like a funny way to win a game. It's that like, was... Hey, did you know this? That was like we went back in time 11 years, and it was one of the first days at GSL. That Look was at him like, smile. Yeah. Look at him smile. Well, I'll tell you what. One thing that, about Party <laughs> is that he does like to tinker with building placement, like not just in a multiplayer game. He really sits down and figures out, okay, where does everything fit? How do we do this? And when you discover an exploit like that on a map like that, well, when, I mean, you gonna, when, it, when there's something like that, you just keep your mouth quiet. Yeah. You, do you don't not show anyone that. do that on the ladder. You don't you whisper that to your teddy bear at night because no. that is literally one completely free win. Yes. And the free win was taken. Solar, frustrated, no doubt, is going to have to try to prove himself on Blackburn uh, as we go into game number two. I doubt Parting has another trick. It's going to be that exploitative, but let's find out. <laughs> Z Gaming, Solar. Here he comes again. Another Forge Tasteless. King of the Mountain. <laughs> oh, I hey. actually almost didn't listen to your choice. It is rush. another Forge. Yeah. Got to do it, you know? Has to be done. Parting. Five head plays, knowing that, you know, cannons don't cost supply. <laughs> <laughs> and this is funny because it pairs with the first build, right? Oh, Duh. oh man. Oh, I'm watching Solar Space right now. Oh, God. Solar's like this guy. I'm all one right. of the greatest Zerks of all time, and I got to play like I'm in the middle of Gold League on the ladder. Yeah, look at this. And he is actually going to wall that in there. 
Yeah. Does the cancel. Yep. Fully walled. So the problem is, if you unpower this, you're not going to see up the ramp. Uh, that is correct, but I think the probe can basically run up and make another pylon uh. at the last second. Here we go. Oh, oh, he gets. Oh, oh, oh he almost gets it. Though. See, this is. Yeah, this is good micro from Solar. If he can snap the probe, then it's kind of done. Wow, that's some good micro. Skip up. Skip up. Skip up. <laughs> Skip up. 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 Oh my God. Okay, second probe is up. I'm gonna make a zealot. Okay, so two uh, spines are being made to try to sandbag the progress of the rush. Uh, there's a core being made back at home, and I think a lot of the same ideas are basically at play here. There is a pylon up on the high ground. It is not gonna be easy to hit. I think if he gets a queen to the bottom left, he can hit it without the cannon being able yeah. to fight back. But if parting the legs to make more cannons next to that pylon, well then there's another problem there for the mm -hmm. Zerg. Yeah, it seems like, the spines are going to prevent him from dying to this. Yeah. Um, well, but I'm sure he has some sort of continuation here that's very good. Well, that's the thing is, I think, you know, just looking at the way the party's playing right now, it doesn't appear that this is really the plan to win with the cannon rush. It's basically to set them up mm -hmm. so that I'm guessing you could probably go into Void Ray and basically do the same thing again. The Void Ray is nice because it can both hit the uh, the the hatchery that we're looking at here that the zealots are attacking and also still push into the main and uh keep in mind you know zerk does not have drones hidden on the map i don't believe uh that i could see here looking at the mini map with my naked eye but yeah uh, i mean he has some larvae out there so he could probably get a drone out onto the map but making links here to try to save that hatchery looks like he will be able to for yeah. now um problem is that you know six i'm sorry three lings remain but Oh, I'm sorry. He's actually not getting a Void Ray at all. I just decided he was no. doing that. There's a Robo making. Yeah. Um, Might be like just an Immortal push coming up. Yeah, I think Immortal War Prism, which I think is also just as good. It's basically the idea here for Parting is to just kind of make cannons behind his current cannons, make batteries back there as well. Uh, by the way, the one Adept coming up here is going to be a headache because that can be much uh, micro much better against mm. the. Um, well, it's great scouting as well, because it just kind of tells you what is going on. Oh, no. He just let off the lings. Keep in mind, it really is Ooh. important that Zerg actually keeps his hatchery alive. Yeah. Uh, even if it's not for that long. And now all three drones are going to be picked off, or at least chased away. Solar, basically on the ropes right now. I mean, this is... He is fighting for his life. And look, if he can actually break free from this... Parting should not be able to recover. The problem is that Parting is really masterful at these types of plays, at these uh, these builds, these dances where every note, every part of it has to be hit perfectly and precisely uh, because one small mistake and you lose control of the game. The Adept is going to shade in here and scout. I doubt it will let it finish. Oh, I'm sorry, it actually does. Well, it gives him full vision, and he sees that there is actually not a Roach Warren. Yeah, surprisingly, I think by that's the way. probably a situation where you want to make another cannon, right? Because that means he has to try to break you with links. Yeah, I, I think any other Protoss player would most likely anticipate that you're going to see Ravagers come out here. Yeah. But without Ravagers, you have to overwhelm this with Zerglings. Uh, we don't have a Banelings Nest either. And so he's basically with the... Oh, this uh, spine actually going to get away, but not the other one. doesn't get that, but another mortal is about to pop out here as well. I can't imagine Solar actually holding this, no, right? No, I, I feel like we are very close to the end here, especially when the second immortal pops out. There's a link counterattack. I don't. I haven't actually gotten a shot of the ramp here to know what exactly is going on there. He's got, like, a cannon over at his own ramp, if that's what you're talking about. Like, yeah, I didn't know. Okay, so he's actually cannon fine. Cannon and a battery. Yeah, yeah, so he's fine. I thought there might be no cannon at all. Now, Parting, uh, again, the micro isn't that easy. He has not decided to pop over to the, to the other hatchery and hit that. I think what he's really trying to do is just crack open the defenses here because if you can get inside the main, there's really nothing that they can actually do uh, with the other hatchery over there north of this position. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I mean, he there's... used up all the shield batteries, so maybe he can still break through? Yeah, n n I'm actually not sure about this now. I think he's going to have to try oh. to plug this up even further. Yeah, he's going to full wall it, it looks like. Now, there's three Immortals over here. Oh, my God. And that's really where it becomes a spine crawler buster um, push. It's just sort of deal with, can he plug this last entrance? Ooh. 
Uh, maybe Link's he wanted those trapped? No. No. Definitely not. You're trapped in here with me. Uh, so this is going to slow down the mining tremendously, I should add, uh, of the party. But the problem also is that the Immortals are already out. Yeah. Also, don't forget, he killed the uh, Cybern X Corps before it finished Warp Gate. So what you see is what you get here. The probes have to fight. These, so these Lings may end up winning the game for him. If he wins, it's definitely the Lings' fault. Yeah. You know, you see, this damage, though, like, as long as he does not miss Micro there. He's trying to just hit the hatchery, it yeah. almost looks like. Now, again, these are uh, immortals that are becoming bruised. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Three links away. So he's, I, I was kind of expecting this to happen a little bit yeah. sooner, but uh, he is going to come out here and, and very easily push down this area, but the links can just run through. Oh, God, are the links going to go counter? No, they're going after these immortals. Yeah, well, the problem yeah. now is that not all three immortals can fit. Oh, I'm sorry, four immortals can actually fit inside the, the warp prism, right? So, uh -oh. okay, he actually kills the links. That's extremely important. Mm -hmm. Another uh, hatchery on the way. This is so many immortals. Yeah. And now the, now the queens have no link protection. There's like two links in here. Here comes that prism as well. No way to really stop them from retreating without those lings there. Yeah, there's not that many more transfuses left. If he can just try to target down the queens that are high in energy. I think this is it, Tasteless. I think Solar's uh, dead. Yeah, I like how he's chipping away at the other uh, uh, main hatchery here as well. He's going to try to dive bomb this, but the micro is just insane here from party. Now five immortals against five queens. <laughs> These things have so many kills on them as they yeah. plow forward, and oh, he's going to pop this hatchery. There's just nothing that Solar can do, and a frustrating second loss. It does appear to be. Um, yeah, I think Solar's going to just digest this moment and then tap out. He literally has no hatchery other than the one making it to the top right, and obviously that's going to be easier to break down than this main one was over here. Look at this. Hey, the Immortals just kind of kiting back. Solar with his last hurrah. He has that hatchery making in the top right, but I mean, he cannot, he hasn't even killed a single immortal this game. Yeah, the immortals were kept alive and the damage just began to snowball here. Um, again, those links, when they got inside the main, it was pretty remarkable. But at the end of the day, it was not enough to slow down the damage that Party put out here. Party with two extremely epically cheesy wins <laughs> is going to move on and have a PvP versus Trap. What a parting-esque best of three. Pretty much. Pretty much. That was as filthy as it can get. Just pulls a fast one over on Solar. Solar goes that loser's match. And Harding going to be fighting for first place with Trap in the PvP. I can't even imagine how salty <laughs> Solar is well, right now. Like game two, that's like stuff that you deal with from time to time. You're like, yes, this is so hard to stop. Game one, though. That's where you just shake your head. You're like, yeah, there was actually no way for him to win that. Yeah. There was yeah, actually yeah, yeah. no way. He was well, unaware. It, th th that's Everyone in the whole world is aware of that now. Basically, it's a situation where if you don't know that that can happen, you lose. Yes. Even if you're one of the best circus of all time. Guys, short break. We'll be right back.